the live. My apologies for being late. I am really, really sorry. Uh, I should be, I should be much better with my timekeeping. But as you can imagine, we were dancing around in my house, and then we went for some KFC. And as we were driving to KFC, I was beeping the horn as uh, Free Lions was playing out of the car, and um, <laughs> doing the John Barnes rap because it is coming home. Of course, it is. It's coming home. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, um, I'm tight. <laughs> I'm just buzzing. I'm buzzing. I'm on my uh, watermelon and strawberry drink from KFC. It's beautiful. But this is all about who England will play in the quarter final. Um, it is, of course, Ukraine versus Sweden. We have a dog in the fight in this one. We have our friend Harmony. One of the members of Just Joy FC, her team, Sweden, um, playing in this game, of course. Um, let's get to some of your comments uh, and we'll go through the lineups actually. Let's go through the lineups first of all. I'll remind you all of the lineups. So we have, first of all, starting with Sweden, Olsen in goal. It is a 4-4-2. Lustig at right back, Lindelof and Danielson at centre-back. Um, Augustinsson at left back, then Larsen at right midfield. Olsen, Ekdal and Emil Forsberg at left wing. And up top is Kulevsky and Isak, two wonderful young players. I know Harmony's just mentioned there. 21-year-old Dejan Kulazewski, who plays at Juventus, and Alexandra Isak, a real Sociedad. So both him, them two leading the line today. So I'm excited to see both of these players leading the line for Sweden. For Ukraine, we have Bush Canning goal. Uh, this is a 4-3-3. Uh, Karev at right back. Zamibi and Kristoff at centre back. Matt Vienko at left back. Uh, a midfield free of... Zinchenko, Stepanenko, and Saidorachuk. And then left mid, Sharpenko, Yarmachuk in the centre. And of course, at right wing, Yamalenko, who we're all aware of. Um, sorry for the pronunciations of the Ukraine team. I've absolutely hammered them. Marcus May, look, he was very quiet. I did wonder where he was. He says, fair play to England, mate. Fully deserve that. You'll make it to the final now. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Fearless Ducky says, England won. Yes, they did, mate. What what a day it has been. Disabled team said, good evening, everyone. Buzzing that England won. This really could be our year. It really could. It could, couldn't it? Um, stick with the Wi-Fi. It looks like it's dropping. Very gracious, Marcus. Respect, yeah. The other uh, Welsh fan that I upset, who's, who was dying, he came in the chat early doors saying, I'm Germany. Um, he's not so gracious. <laughs> Um, sorry for being late. As I say, I was tucking into some food. Uh, I went a bit mad. We were dancing around in my house. And then when we drove to KFC, I was banging the tunes out of the car, beeping at old people as they went past. My partner shouted at me, stop beeping at them. I was like, I'm just just celebrating. Um, not a KFC fan disabled team. That's a surprise. Harmony says, hi all. Looking forward to this one. Hopefully England versus Sweden in Rome on Saturday night. Yeah, it'd be... The first game that England won't be at Wembley as well, won't it? I think if we get to the final, we'll play all but two of our games at Wembley. Um, Zero, Fox AK, Phil the Pipes has got me a barbecue going. Going to chuck some lemon pepper chicken thighs on in two minutes. Oh, that sounds much better than KFC, mate. I'm not going to lie. Um, get in there, says Ben Whitehead. Yes, yeah, still buzzing, no doubt, after the England win. Michael Brown's in the chat as well. Um now then, people, says Michael Brown, Emil Forsberg is caught. He is. He's in my dream team, Emil Forsberg. I'm really excited to see the two strikers, though, Kulevsky and Isak. I know we've seen Isak already, but Kulevsky, um, if I just look at the previous game, came on as a substitute against Poland um, and was on the bench against Slovakia. So we haven't seen much of him in the tournament, really. Um, so it's, it's good to see him start in the game. So I'm excited to see him. Um, have we got anyone in here that we're looking at? No, mate. No, I'd like us to look at uh, Isak, though, but no. Um, didn't do too bad with names there. Great. Not bad, eh? 
Um, Calvin Bostick said Marcus May did. Um, we say that every year, said Nipper. We don't know. We don't. I think this is it genuinely, it could be our time. Fidan says we go for Sweden. Yes, we support Sweden today in respect for harmony. Um, no, I didn't upset anyone, Mark. I don't think so anyway. I upset my partner. She said, stop beeping at people. I was like, I'm just happy. Um, Andy's tripped a cheeky fiver on a Sweden 3 1 win. Yorkshire's finally says, What do you reckon? I'm going to go for a 2 0 Sweden win. 2 0 Sweden win. I think it might be quite comfortable. Um, there you go. One in the first half, one in the second half. Um, two assists when he came on against Poland, said Harmony. There you go. Two assists that I did not know. And he came on in the 36 minute, was it? Yeah, 36 minute. There you go. Um, Michael Brown says it's great to see the nation come together like we saw in it. Yeah, this is what I said. I said this on Twitter. I said, like, if we beat Germany, the nation will, it'll be absolute scenes and we'll just get carried away with it now. Everyone will be so happy. And that's what football can do. It can bring us all together. Um, you know, and we've got, like I say, uh, a quarter final to play versus either Sweden or Ukraine. And then ahead of that, we got in the other quarter final, Denmark, Czech Republic. So the draw, regardless of what, you know, I know you don't take anyone lightly, but it has been favourable to us. It has been favourable to us. So Mega says Calvin was brilliant again, doing his country proud. He was, he was doing his country uh, massively proud. He actually looked full, full Wembley, 2-1 Ukraine, like the Ukraine striker, can't remember his name though, is it Yarmachuk? Yarmolenko as well of West Ham, of course. Harmony's got £10 on Sweden to win 3-1, which they could well do. Um, we had some, some great numbers on the England stream as well, guys, so thank you to everyone who supported us. Um, you're all legends, each and every one of you. Um, we're on that road to 5k, we'll be there before we know it. Um, <clears throat> Zinchenko obviously is a big player for Ukraine here he is on the ball I'm not comfortable with the possible qualifier England, Ukraine, Rome might be lucky for the Ukrainians, Kolevsky Shevchenko, possibly, possibly Calvin and Rice work really well together. They do, Mega. They do, you're right. Absolutely fantastic, the pair of them. Especially when you consider they got yellow cards and, you know, no changes were made. I thought Gareth Southgate played it to perfection, bringing on Grealish when he did, um, you know, so bringing on Grealish when he did and him having such an impact, obviously he got an assist and then also laid on Sweden, uh, sorry, Sweden, I'm so tired you can tell, laid on Shaw to cross the ball. Um, Philip Anderson says, love KP in that game. That's what the Yorkshire pillow does. One player makes changes of the team. Yeah, amazing, amazing. Harmony, rightly so, says Kolevsky is Swedish. Does anyone know if you can purchase LU TV without having to become a member? Yes, you can, Marcus, mate. It's nine power, no, 99p a week, 99p a week. But you don't, you, you you get like videos, social media type videos, and you get to listen to the radio on there of the games. You don't get actual footage of the games um, because, like I say, they're, they're for Sky and BT, etc. But yeah, if you um, you can sign up to LU, LU TV for nine, 99p a week. Um, you can see I've caught sun there, can't you? I've been sat in garden today. I really need to cut my hair as well. I have to get that done this weekend or tomorrow. Tomorrow, I don't need to wait wait for the weekend. Emil Forsberg, good ball there. Little stick crossing it. Bit of a mistake there by the keeper. Looking for Isak. Is Lindelof of Manchester United? A little dink. Emil Forsberg's definitely one to watch. Good good team, Sweden. That's what I'm saying. It's not going to be no easy tie, that's for sure. Forsberg, great run. Unlucky. Remember, guys, to smash a like on the stream as well. The more likes, the more views we'll get. The more people come and join Just Joe FC. Andrei Shevchenko there, the coach of Ukraine. I think Yamlenko can actually break his record in terms of goals for... For he, for his uh, his team, I believe. How 
how did how the hell did Muller miss that chance earlier? That's what's killed them. Yeah, it was. You're right. He had to score there, didn't he? Um, he definitely had to score. And I didn't actually know this. He's never scored in, in the Euros, has he, Muller? Which is quite a surprise when you think about it. But it was an all-round great performance from England. Still yet to concede a goal in the Euros. You know, and you've got... We're doing it right. Like, I know everyone not happy with the back five, all that sort of stuff, you know, three at the back, two wing-backs, but... Southgate, it was perfection today. Perfection. The substitutions. Here's Forsberg. Yeah, it was great, man. And then Sweden up next, which... Oh, I say Sweden. Sorry, I'm jinxing it there. It could be Ukraine. Sorry, <laughs> Harmony. <laughs> but if we get Lindelof into Isak... But... Um, I don't think he'll go with the back five. Like, versus either Sweden or Ukraine, I don't think he'll go with that back five. It'll back be back to be a 4 2 3 1 or 4 3 3, maybe. Marcus May says he just put Stones and KP in his Euro fantasy team. Yeah. Yeah, Jordan Dick, see Muller's miss that shot and then Sterling's reaction to it. Well, he hit the deck, didn't he? Here's his sack. Because it was his error, weren't it? It could have easily been that. Uh, what was better, Sterling versus Germany or Dallas versus C? For me, Sterling, and the only reason I say that is because if you remember on All Leeds TV when we did the watch along, I knew that Dallas had scored because it was ruined. If you remember, uh, Jed, Oscar's dad, ran into the picture and went, yeah, so I knew it was coming. So the emotion was taken out of it for me. Nice. This is good work from Sweden, Forsberg. Ball to come in. Forsberg. Oh, he's so dangerous. Sweden. Looking good. Looking good. 2 0, I've said. Uh, they look by far the better side in these early, early starts. Forsberg running the show. I've got him in my dream team as well as where as well as Yamalenko, actually. They're both in the side. Forsberg to take this. Harmony says England were very composed against Germany. Pickford was class. He was. Pickford was immense. You can see why Gareth trusts him. There was question, mark, question marks over him. Question marks over Sterling. I was one. You know, I knew why he was taken, but I was saying he's had a rubbish season, but he's got three goals. He's our top scorer at the, at the European Championships, you know. He could go on and get the golden boot. <laughs> I think what I've said as well, the goal for Harry Kane is huge because Harry Kane now could go on a goal scoring run. He could. So like Sweden, Ukraine, whoever it is, watch out because Harry Kane, now he's got that goal. He's got the monkey off his back. He's ready, you know. So I think it's so important that Harry Kane got that goal. He just had to because especially when considering the first half, he had that chance, you know. Um but he got that goal and what a ball it was as well from Jack Grealish. Perfect, like for him, perfect height and everything. Jack Grealish class. Just a great performance, like I say. I'm so happy. <laughs> Still. And I won't lie to you though, I'm looking forward to um I'm looking forward to a couple of days rest after non-stop streams. Kulashevsky. Larson trying to cross it in. All Sweden at the moment. He'd be offside there. Goldbridge rated Calvin a 5 out of 10. Lowest pl rated player. Obviously doesn't know ball then, does he? Obviously doesn't know ball. We can run through some of the key stats of Calvin if you want, you know. Um, and then that's all you need to share with them, you know. Look at his record just with Calvin on the pitch. But let's go to LUFC Dare. I'll give you some of Calvin's stats. LUFC Dare always knows the score. Let's have a look. 90 minutes played. 82% pass accuracy. 60 touches. 45 successful passes. 11.3 kilometres distance covered. 11 ball recoveries. 4 successful long passes. 
four duels, one, two clearances. Great performance. Calvin Phillips regained possession of the ball 11 times against Germany. The most by an England player in the Euros match since Tony Adams did so against Germany at Euro 1996. So people saying that he, he had a five, then they need to look at that. So Jordan, let, let Goldbridge all that. You know what I mean? Regained possession of the ball the most since Tony Adams did in 1990, uh, Euro 96, which was 25 years ago. So, <laughs> you know. How many goals against England when Calvin plays? Exactly. Not many. I'll show you. I'll show you some more stats. He's an absolute stalwart in that England side. I love that picture of Rice, um, Grealish and, uh, uh, and Calvin together as well. It's class. I'm going to find you right. right. England's record with Calvin Phillips. 936 minutes played. 12 caps, 11 starts, 9 wins, 2 draws, 1 defeat, 9 clean sheets, 2 goals conceded, only 1 from open play. They've conceded 1 goal. Oh, Yamalenko with a chance there. I think they're saying it might be an offside here, Zinchenko. Ukraine first attack, they get a shot on target. Olsen with the save. Yeah, so England have conceded one goal from open play and kept nine clean sheets in over 15 hours with Calvin on the pitch. That's what he does, man. That's what he does. Charlie Brown says, I've just hit 4.2k. 4, 4 I did not know that. That's amazing. Let me have a look. Let me check this. Oh, yeah, 4.2. Wow, amazing. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, channel everyone. We've, we set the target of 5k before um before the season starts which is in august i think we're going to get there no problem man N no problem at all <sighs> gamer guy ethan says it's going to be 2-0 to ukraine well lewis mcginnis personally joe sterling has just had small stints of class but a lot of the game today he looked greedy i can agree with that but he, he's clutch man he steps up he steps up when we need him <clears throat> 51 in the chat, let's get maximum likes, yeah, make it happen. It's coming on, it is, it is coming home. <laughs> Gail Dale, how are you feeling after the being on the Venos? Are you okay now, Gail? <laughs> Jordan Dick says he's forgiven Southgate for 96. Jordan says he was an eight, not man of the match, but was amazing. Yeah, I think he put a little bit later on that maybe Harry Maguire. I think, yeah, Harry Maguire was amazing. I thought Jordan Pickford was as well. 2-1 Sweden. Good save from Olsen, says Harmony, for the chance just a second ago from Yarmolenko. Philip says 5K, you're going to get past that, Joe. Hopefully by August, that would be good, wouldn't it? Let's be past that. Emil Forsberg, ball in, Isak. Oh, well defended, it's gone out. I'm getting closer to the million. <laughs> that'd be amazing. 100k, that'd be the dream, wouldn't it? 100k. That's that's always a... I mean, I doubt it'll happen, but that, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? 100,000 subscribers, that'd be amazing. But no, nearly 5k, which is, which is class. Emil Forsberg, save. Had enough wine now, says Gail. She's going for a lay, lay, lie down. Oh, it says, are you worried about Calvin getting a yellow in the semi? Oh, that would be heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. I never thought of that, you know. Didn't think of that. Mikhail says, it's going to be England, Sweden in quarters, England, Denmark in semi, England, Belgium final. It's coming on. Wow. I think Italy might get there, you know, mate. I think Italy might get there. But obviously, as is always the case on the Just Your Football Show, you can look forward to them games, and it starts on Friday. We've got Switzerland versus Spain at five o'clock and Belgium versus Italy at eight. What a game that is. Um, what a game that is. Uh, Jordan says, do you think the way Phillips is playing, he's going to be on it? I think he already would have been. Like, he already would have been, if that makes sense. But Phillips won't go anywhere. Calvin Phillips won't go anywhere. Now, what I would say, if in... 
I don't know, three seasons maybe or two. Like if we're not in Europe, then big clubs might want to take him to Champions League football. And I think a lot of people would get he would get their blessing. Of course, you don't want to lose your best players. Never say that, but there may come a time that if and I do think we will get Europe though. This is all hypothetical, but I'm saying if we didn't, which I think we will, if we didn't then he might move on because Calvin has shown playing in the Euros that he deserves to play at the top of the game. And what's the top of club football? It's Champions League, you know, year after year. It's European football. It's winning trophies. Now, some people might not want to hear that, but it's the truth. And he would have my blessing. But I don't think it'll happen because I think Leeds United will get into Europe. That's why we're signing players by the likes of Furpo, you know, absolute ballers. So bring in fur, but we're going to be better next season. Um, do I think we'll get top six? I'm not sure, if I'm honest. I think it could be top ten, because I think everyone else is going to get stronger next year as well, and it's going to be tough, um, because the the big thing that ra ra rams it home for me is is the fact that everything that happened, and I keep saying this, but, uh, you know, I sound like a broken record, but if you think back to the start of the season, Man City had a shocker, Liverpool had a shocker all season, Chelsea were ninth when Lampard was sacked just before Christmas, and then they still finished in the top four. After all that, they still finished in the top four. So it's um, it's going to be tough to get into Europe. Um, so I don't know what, happen what will happen with Tottenham. I mean, if Kane moves on, nah. But if he's still there, obviously Matt Hayes yesterday in the France game said that uh, if Kane isn't a Tottenham player at the start of the season, he will wear a Leeds United shirt um, when when um, when Leeds play Tottenham. <laughs> so he's that confident that Harry Kane will still be there. So um, we'll have to wait and see what happens next season. Um, who else? Obviously, to Arsenal. Arsenal getting stronger. Ben White. They're looking at other players as well. Basuma. I think Arsenal will be better next season. Um, I mean, they'll probably want to keep all the Granite Xhaka after yesterday's performance. Granite Xhaka was absolutely unbelievable. I think he's going to roll Marini to link up with Jose Mourinho. He's the perfect Jose Mourinho player is Granite Xhaka, that's for sure. Um, I don't know. I think, I, do you know what? It's a bold claim, but I think, um, I think Manchester United, oh, <laughs> the referee getting in front. Um, I think Manchester United might miss out on the top four. Um, We'll have to wait and see, but it's going to be tough Europe, but I'm under no illusion that if we don't get in there on a regular basis, then players like Rafinha, Melier, KP, etc. will move on eventually. Because, and, and to be honest, why wouldn't you want Calvin to, I don't want him to leave Leeds, but if we're not getting in there, I want him to go play in the Champions League. I want him to do that. I want him to do it with Leeds United, but if we aren't going to get there, then... I want him to do it, and he'll want to do it, you know. Look, he's had a taste of it, man. He's playing it in the Euros. We're through to a quarter-final, you know. He's just played, you know, it's not a packed-out Wembley, but he's just played in front of whatever it is, 40,000 at Wembley, beating Germany. That's history moments, you know. So you can't tell me, oh, that's great, from Sweden, they're in. Krasiewski, ball, oh, Forsberg. Just not tall enough, was he? Just not tall enough. Great ball, though. Great ball. I hope that answers your question. <laughs> Lewis says, based on football knowledge, you should have more subs. Thank you, Lewis. That means a lot. Um, Fidan is going for Olsen and Bushkan as his two picks, one from each side. I would take Isak, mate, and Zinchenko. Um, I'd rather him get a yellow Saturday than miss the semi. Yeah, he might get another yellow, won't he? Italy or Belgium, one of those for the final, says Mikhail. Yeah, I'd have to uh, agree with that. Obviously, France getting knocked out. Matt Sweeby says, Southgate has made some massive decisions and England keep winning. Might be time to accept that he's good at his job, yeah. If he wins the Euros, man, give him the keys to England. Isaac, ooh, great strike. Unlucky. Yeah, Anthony said he turned down a double your money move to the Prem when Villa came calling, but that was on the provision that Leeds got up next year. Had they have not got up, he'd have left. 
and we'd have all said that's okay. So you, it might come to a situation, Anthony, where it's a little bit like that at Leeds. If we don't get into Europe regularly, I might have to move on at some stage. I've I've likened it to the Harry Kane situation before, and I know it's a long way off that, but Harry Kane's in that scenario where he's like, I said I want him to go. Daniel Levy says, look, they brought in Mourinho. They still didn't win out. They're not, in, you know, they're in the Europa League conference. That's that's not good enough for Harry Kane, and now he wants to move on. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it could be a similar scenario a couple of seasons down the line, and I do mean like three three seasons. Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying like next year. Whereas that could be the case for someone like Rafinha. That might be next year. Um, that's just my ten pence on it. Don't mean it's it's true or it'll happen, but that's just my my opinion. Jordan Dix thinks Barca will want to see him. Yeah, take over Busquets. <laughs> no lead says if Madrid or something comes in with the money for him, we have to let him go with good calms. I don't think they'll come though, mate. They're skint. Um, evening, I'll just scrap, scrape myself off the ceiling after that great result we played. All of them, well played, all of them. Yeah, Dominic, it was amazing. We did a stream. There were so many people watching. It was class. Thank you to everyone that did. Got loads of new subscribers as well, which is amazing. Um, just so grateful for all the sport. And what a day. Like, this is the thing. That's proper exercise in demons, isn't it? And the players that we've got, you know, Mount, Ford and Sancho, they didn't even get used. Grealish off the bench doing bits. Amazing. How many agrees that Italy have been impressive? They have. Oh, I slipped. Lindelof. It's a chance here for Ukraine. Sinchenko at the back post. Headed out by Lindelof. Momo says, I'm excited. I understand you should be. Yeah, Jordan Dick Shaka was immense. Arsenal fans must have been shocked. Yeah. Kane looked a bit lively. I don't know in this 14 Tony. I don't think he was that great. Like, I think in the first half he had that chance that he fluffed. Um didn't stick to him a lot. But you gotta keep him on, aren't you? And in and and he scored a goal. And I now think, Tony, that. Now that he's scored that goal, Harry Kane could go on a goal-scoring run for me. Definitely. Um, I think he could definitely go on a goal-scoring run um, and, and maybe fire us to um, to Euro glory. I know we get carried away. I Well, not all people, but I do. I can easily get carried away. You know that if you've seen me on all Leeds TV, I get carried away with Leeds United at times I get, and I get carried away with England. <laughs> But there is a real possibility we for us to beat Germany, the draw has opened up massively for 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 England now. You know, if we can if you know, no disrespect, and I'm not taking anyone lightly because England were knocked out by Iceland, for God's sake. Let's not forget that. Yeah. But looking at the squad that we have, the way Gareth Scott has taken over, the fact that Harry Kane's just got on the score sheet. I'm excited. Can we beat Sweden on Ukraine? Should we beat them on paper? Yes. And then you're looking at Denmark and Czech Republic. I think Denmark will beat Czech, Czech Republic. Denmark will be a tough game. Um, but again, it's another game that I think we can win. And we've already beaten the Czech Republic, you know. But when we beat them all, oh, England are rubbish. They should score more. They should score more. And then they beat Holland. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah. I mean, Why can't we get to the final? We should. Why can't we think that we should? Do you know what I mean? Definitely. Um, Michael Brown says, from what I understand, Sterling and Kim will be moving on. Pepe's looking to move Sterling on. Yeah, maybe could be the case. Um, I know Sterling's declined the move to Tottenham in a make weight for Harry Kane, and why wouldn't you? And there'll be a lot of suitors. There'll be a lot of suitors for Sterling. A lot of suitors. Keep your comments coming in, guys. I'm a little bit behind, but we will get to them, I promise you. Um, Forsberg, um, Zachary, uh, Zirak Nazir said, How do you feel going to Old Trafford on opening day of Premier League next season? And what's your honest prediction? 
Uh, I'm okay with it, mate. Man United don't always start well. Um, I think it, the, we showed in the game at Ellen Road that we can compete with Manchester United, we can compete with Man City, we can compete with Liverpool, we can compete with Chelsea, we can compete with all the top teams. Um, I think we'll, we'll be better next season due to the signings that we make. So I'm not concerned. Um, of course, Manchester United will be the favourites, uh, Z-Rack, because it's Manchester United, they're at home, they're at Old Trafford. But I think it's a great way to start the season. Of course, we want off to get off to a great start. As long as we make a good account of ourselves, we'll be all right. Um, and I think we can win the game. Yeah, and that's not that's not gas. Like, why can't we win the game? We, we showed we were, what, 10 games unbeaten towards the back end of the season? Amazing scenes. Reese GK says hello. Hello, Reese. Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, Isak should have scored. I agree. Marcus says, what's your plan for the channels after the Euros, mate? Well, we'll just continue to do watch-alongs of the Premier League games. Um, be a lot of Leeds content. Obviously, the daily Leeds will continue. That'll be every single day, regardless of it being not the transfer window, because I want to keep all you guys up every day with the latest Leeds United news um, and anything going on in the Premier League. So I'll, that'll, that'll come daily. And then we'll also have the previews of the game the reviews of the games, watch-alongs when I'm not at the games, uh, opposition previews, so so everything really, it'll all still be, it'll all still be there. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, but we will do watch-alongs um, when we're not at the games, you know, Premier League games that are on, big games, so why not? Um, I've really enjoyed doing the watch-alongs during the Euros. You guys have been watching, give me a lot of support, showing that it can be done, so... I will uh, will continue to do that. Any suggestions though, Marcus? Let me know. Emil Forsberg, that's a great little ball. <sighs> Tries to get on the end of it, Kalevsky, but no joy. <laughs> Anthony Johnson says he proved his loyalty. How many other players? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not disputing his loyalty, Anthony. I'm not. Um, I'm not disputing that. Um, but it, you can't just say, oh, I'm going to stay at Leeds forever. What if we got relegated again, Anthony? I mean, it's not going to stay easy, you know? He stayed because we said, give us one more season. Had we have not gone up, he'd have gone, you know? And I'm not questioning anything like that. I'm just saying there may come a time because of how good he is. Because he's that good, he's shown that. He's dealt with Cruz, he's dealt with Modric. Both of them play... Oh, that's a... Zinchenko 1-0. What a turn up for the books. I think that's Yarmolenko who gives it Zinchenko. Zinchenko is good in front of goal. Oh, he's fuming. He says... Shh, shh. Zinchenko with a great strike. Manchester City's Zinchenko... That's a good ball. Is it? Is it Yarmolenko? Yarmolenko is here. Who finds him? Oh, wow. Yarmolenko with a pick out. And what a strike that is. Outside of the foot from Yarmolenko. And Zinchenko, he takes set pieces at City when De Bruyne is not around. We know he's got a great left foot. What a strike that is. Fair play to Zinchenko, and I'm really surprised I didn't expect this. Olsen, can't save it. Ukraine, wow. Now, there's a little part of me as an England fan. I prefer Ukraine. I prefer Ukraine. I'm not going to lie. I did not, I did not, I did not say this. <laughs> Belgium versus Italy. What a game that will be agreed. Jeffrey, nice to see you here, brother. If it's your first time here, please subscribe to the channel. It's free to do so. Thank you for being here. Let's get to all your comments. Gail Dale says she can get carried away when I drink too much. Yeah, I've seen. <laughs> 
Charlie Brown says Czech Republic could easily be a banana skin for the Danes. They've looked good, Czech Republic. Suchek, Kufal, and of course that man up top, Patrick Schick. They've looked really good. Here's a set piece. Larson. Oh, he went straight for goal, nearly went in there. Yeah, Gail Dale loved to see France and Germany knocked out. Jordan Dix, yeah, we will be doing before the whistle blows, yeah. Four piece, I think. Four piece. Do it on a Thursday. That'll be the live stream and obviously any watch alongs. Harmony says that. Nah. No, no, I know. Alfie Hill said he just watched the England match. It was so good. It was amazing, wasn't it, mate? Amazing. Augustine, some of this corner ball saved by the keeper. It was a good goal, yeah. Yarmolenko outside of the foot. Great ball to Zinchenko. We know Zinchenko can hit them. Yeah, we will still be doing before the whistle blows, Andy. Yeah, I think it's a I think it's a fan's favourite, innit? I think people like it on a on a weekend just looking ahead. So we will do that. Yeah, Reese GK says great good pass from Yarmolenko. It was. 14 14 Yorks. You did join my life. I do not remember saying this. So if you can find it. If you can find it, send it me, because I'll do it, man. If I send it, I'll do it. Tiny Doc's in the house. Stick with the Wi-Fi, guys. It looks like it's gone on the sketch. Um, Hazard and De Bruyne are out for Italy. Let's have a look. Marcus May, Rafa Benitez has officially signed a deal to become Everton's new gaffer. <coughs> Stick with the Wi-Fi, folks. It's always doing this for me. Oh, there we go. We're sorted now. Wi-Fi sorted. Wi-Fi sorted. Panic over. Panic over. Uh, Martin says, not going to lie, I was not expecting us to beat Germany, but get in. Exactly that, mate. Get in. We did beat them as well. Yes. I said we would five days ago when we drew them. <laughs> Knockout games, anything can happen now. You're right, Nicholas Shua. And he's Ukraine with a set piece. If they were to get a second, it'd be hard for, for Sweden to get back in. Is he going to fall for Yamalenko? Ooh. Whenever that ball drops for Yamalenko, you're just thinking that. Don't let the guy strike the ball. Don't let the guy strike the ball. Lewis McGuinness is 17 in the All Leagues TV Scotch Your League. I've been top 10 for ages. I don't know what I'm, where I am now, to be honest. Let's have a look. I'm going to double check this now, Lewis. I was in the top 10. Um, I need to pick out the... Uh, I'm 11th. I'm 11th, mate. I was top for, for a, a few times, early doors, but I'm 11th. There you go, 122 people, all that. 1440 New Yorks is convinced that I said I would get a Southgate tattoo on my ass. I'm not sure I said that, but if I did say it, find it, find the clip, because I don't remember doing it. It's how Lamp Partridge going to be, but I hope so, mate, I hope so. I need to, I need to sort it. Apparently, it was before the season finished. Mm. I really like this Ukrainian team. Always a good watch. Love before the whistle blows. It's a great listen, especially when you ask how Corey and Locks are on. Great show. One of my favourites. We will look to bring it back. I think, like I say, the, the lads are up for it anyway. So, the, the, the lads are all up for it. So, we will sort it out. I don't know about Hal. I need to speak to Hal. Because obviously they're in the championship, so not great for him, is it? <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but he's a top guy, is Hal Stewart. Mr. DJ Hal Stewart. Oh, tired now, look. Woo. Squire Bear says, just went back to check your celebrations from, from the stream, should clip them up. 
I know I probably should, mate. You're right. I should. I should probably put the timestamps in there, to be honest. Squire Bear, let me know the timestamps, man, and I can write it down and I'll do it after. Top banter on before the whistle blows. Yeah, always is. Always is. Always is. Over 100 people watching, please smash a like on the stream. If you are new as well, please subscribe. There's a little watermark down here. You can do that. Make sure you smash a like. We've got 10 minutes left of this half, guys. Ukraine leading. Here's a meal for Spoo. Where's this game being played? It's like it looks empty compared to Wembley, doesn't it? Let's have a look. Oh, it's been playing at Hamden Park. Wow. In Scotland. Whatever happened to the Tottenham last time before the whistle blows? I don't know. Elena's not doing a lot of um a lot of content at the moment, Andy, so I'm not too sure. I spoke to her a few weeks back and said, like, what's happening? And she said, Oh, she'll message me, but I've not heard from her, so have to wait and see. She probably just like a lot of Tottenham fans just like hiding until they get a manager. Because <laughs> it's all over the shop at the minute, isn't it? Here's Forsberg, Chansey for Sweden. Olsen. Larson. That's poor. That's poor by Larson. Newcastle last Kendall makes me laugh. Yeah, she's good, isn't she? White Peacock, she got the hump with Hal. <laughs> Anthony Johnson, get Matt Hayes on yet. Ball over. Ukraine have defended well when they've been called upon. Forsberg. Also a great challenge, that is. Lustig. Uh. Ukraine. It's going to be hard to break them down. Gail Dale Elena definitely got fed up. Possibly, possibly could have been, couldn't it? Jordan Dick says, hiding until Frank Lampard gets the job, imagine. I don't even know who they who they link with now, Tottenham. Who's the latest? Is it Ozzy Ardiles? Oh, I'm tired, guys. But do you know what? There's no games on tomorrow, so I can actually... Chill out. Alison and Matty Adams said, Joe, this could be another draw. Uh, extra time and pens. Go get the coffee. Oh. <clears throat> I don't know if I could do with that. Mm. Oh, God, I think I might need to, actually. <laughs> Nicholas Griffin says, Warnock is getting the Spurs job, yeah. Mike Bassett, that's a good shout. <laughs> Mike Bassett's a great shout. Oscar's bouncing on Twitter, apparently. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's buzzing. You cannot be tired, Joe. Another England game is coming. I <laughs> know, yeah. Don't worry, I won't be tired for that. I won't be tired for that. How do I'm drunk? It says, uh, oh, I'm tired, John. John's been enjo enjoying himself with England winning today. Not surprised, mate. When I came out of the house when we were going to KFC, there was people singing "It's It's Coming Home" across the road. The towns will be bouncing, won't they? It's a good touch from Isak. Olsen's touch lets him down. Great touch from Isak. So, Alison, you misbehaving again. <laughs> What's going on? They're always misbehaving. You've got Gail, Alison, Harmony. Here's Forsberg. Hey, I'm so tired, man. <laughs> Good. Oh, that's great. 
Kulaszewski, Larson lifted it to Augustinson. He was looking for Isak, but they do look dangerous, Sweden, when they go forward. Roberto Martinez is apparently favourite for the Tottenham job now. <laughs> that defender there tried to head the ball and just went, Gee. sorry for making you yawn, John. Apologies, Olsen. Chance, chance on the break. It's the armor. Oh, that's a poor pass. Danielson, easy for him to deal with. Have a cat nap at half time, and oh, yeah. Harmony says, I was buzzing that much last night. I took out a membership. <laughs> great night. Yeah, great. It was. Thank you for supporting the show. Means a lot. It helps. I went and bought some headphones today for you. <laughs> 40 minutes. Oh, my God. At least you know I've not just caught on that. It's been, we've been smashing these watch longs, haven't we? Nice. Kuliszewski. Is that a penalty? No, he gets told to get up. Tries to nick past the defender. It's more his momentum in it. What did I order at KFC, mate? I had a Zinger burger, box meal, chips, gravy. Some hot wings, and then this is um, watermelon and strawberry drink. They do it's beautiful, it's really nice. Here's Yamalenko, KFC are the best. I do like KFC, I don't, I'm not a massive fan of their chips. My perfect, to be honest, would be a bacon, bacon, what they call, bacon double XL from Burger King as my burger. That is the best burger you'll you'll ever taste. The massive as well, like that. So, bacon double XL from Burger King, McDonald's fries, and the watermelon and strawberry drink from KFC. So, if I could, if I could. I'd mix them all together, and that would be it. Oh, wow, Marcus May says, good choice apart from the gravy. KFC, that it, that's what it's known for. The gravy is the best thing in the world, man. The gravy is the, is the best thing uh, uh, in the world. It's beautiful. John Heckel says, just signed up myself. Doesn't show you remember, John. It would. It should show you that it's a member. You get a little. Uh, get you get a little. Uh, a little marker, mate. Like this. Look, you see Harmony there. She's got a little member sign there. But thanks for watching, though. And uh, like I say, keeping up with the Leeds news means a lot, mate. Here's Isak. Forsberg, good touch. Oh, what a goal. Is that just come off? Forsberg. Did he? Did, I think it came off Isak, you know. But do you know the best thing about that was, was Forsberg's touch out of his feet. Look at the touch out of his feet. What a strike. Let's have a look. Look at that touch out of his feet. Yeah, it's takes a deflection, but ah, uh, it's it's all about that touch out of his feet, man. Don't be giving that as an own goal. Harmony's buzzing. <laughs> Nicholas Griffin says South Park did an episode based on KFC gravy addiction. I'll have to check that out. I like South Park. 
Huge deflection, but it was a good goal, that. Good goal. Just one apiece now. Yeah, Marcus may hope it's not extra time. Got to get up at half six, yeah. What? Jesus, bro, no need for the adverts. What do you mean? What adverts? I ain't got no adverts. <laughs> What adverts? I wish I had adverts, bro. If I had adverts, mate, I'd be able to charge top dollar. Be able to charge... Um, I'd be able to... Uh, I'd be able to charge top dollar. Don't want no extra time. He's got to get up at half six. Sweden for me, mate. Now they've now they've scored. Oh, you click the stream and you get to ads. Yeah, that's that's YouTube, mate. That's AdSense. That's um. That's how I I am able to earn a little bit of money from YouTube, mate. Which I think's um. I think it's all right considering all the hours I put in really, Christopher, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. I mean, how much, how long was the advert? About 15 seconds? About 15 seconds? It's not that big of a deal really, is it? I've been, uh, yeah, doing a lot of streams, getting to bed about one o'clock in the morning, some days making sure everything's all set up and ready for you. So, I think a 15 second advert's all right, really, in it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Hey, God. Thank you, though. Thanks for watching, mate. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, get sponsored by KFC. Yeah, try to. <laughs> Yeah, YouTube running the ads. There you go. Thank you. Um, great scheme for the season ticket holders if they can't attend matches. Martin's buzzing as well. Yeah, I agree, Alison and Martin. It's, it's great. So now, and I'll speak about this on the Just Your Football show in the morning um, when when that goes out at 6 a.m. Um, what you can do now if you're a season ticket holder, if you can't get to the game previously, you might want to give it to someone or whatever, not really get, I used to give it my mate who I go with and say, I'll take your missus or whatever, get nothing back. Whereas now we can tell, do you know what? I'll take that money back and put it towards next seasons. So it's, it's great. And then it goes back on sale to, um, to gold members. Like, so that's good. Um, is that why you guys split up and went separate job? No, no, Christopher. Um, I'm starting university in September. Um, I'm going to be uh, a youth and community worker. I do some volunteering, you see, for for adults with disabilities and and and, and young young kids. Um, so that's what I want to do. So in September, I start university, a three year course. Um, and I have my own channel and then all Leeds TV as well. And it was a lot of work for me to do. So I wanted to 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 look after my own, still good friends, and do my university. So that's why, mate. Greg's had an injury. Um, got stitches on my ear, nearly got ripped off at rugby training. Rugby is a man's sport, sure, yeah. What do they say that that uh, rug, rugby is a, a a rough sport watched by gentlemen and football's a gentleman sport watched by rough men something like that, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I don't know. So a lot. Me and Martin just tried to get membership. Was over an hour online and then timed out. Yeah, that's always the case. So I remember when um, when the West Brom tickets went available. Um, there'll be like the best thing to do. There'll be a um, a date where it stops. So it might be you can buy memberships until I don't know the let's say the fifth of July. Just wait until then because everyone goes on straight away. But it's not like buying tickets, is it? They're in a, a, a small number. Um, 
Emil Forsberg there with the goal, the fourth goal of the tournament. In fact, I'm just having a look. Has he been given that goal? Because he's in my dream team. I hope he has been given it. Yeah, it looks that way. So good, Donny. Great tip, yeah. No, trust me, it's best. Unless, obviously, when you're doing tickets, it's like when the West Brom ones went on, when, when season ticket season ticket holders could apply you we got given to like the end of the month and i went on and it was just blocked out and then when i actually waited to the end um sorted so yes anthony johnson i'm gonna have a cigarette i am mate yeah i'm a tired boy i will go for it. i will go for it. Right, guys, I'm going to go for that quick break now. Um, I'll be back with you in less than about five minutes, I'd imagine. Um, I might make myself a coffee as well. I'm tired. It's took it out of me today. Um, all them celebrations after the England game. But join me back here for the second half. Stick in the chat. Get your comments in. Um, and as I say, I'll see you in a sec. Little half time break. Be back shortly as per. Peace out.
Now then, people, we're back in the house. Sweden won, Ukraine won, 45 minutes left to play. John Heckles is a new member. We have a new member of Just Joe FC. Thank you very much for joining. Um, thank you very much, John. You're an absolute legend. You too can become a member of Just Joe FC. It's £4.99 a month if you want to help and support the channel. You guys helped purchase these headphones. You said you wanted me to go get some new headphones. I went and did that. So thank you very much, for, as always, for supporting. But if you can't or you don't want to, that's totally fine as well. As I say, it's just a way to help the channel grow. It all goes back into it. So thank you very much, as always, for your support. Thank you for those that are watching. We've gained a number of subscribers today as well, which is absolutely immense. Um, you love to see it. Um, so thank you, as always, for your support. Um, we're on that road to 5K. 5K. Um, we hit 4K just the other day, so we keep growing. Hopefully, you never know, we've set the target. We as a team, have set the target before August, before the season starts. But we may well get there before the end of the Euros. Do you know what I mean? We've got we've got the two quarterfinals, um, two quarterfinals, four quarterfinals, two semifinals and a final to look forward to. Amazing. But... Let's go and uh, shout out their members anyway whilst we're at it. They're just coming out for the second half. But we will jump on the members. We have Gamer Guy Ethan. Big shout out, Gamer Guy Ethan, the disabled team, Justin Cross, Charlie Wilkinson, Stephen Rhode Island. We've got Michael 20, which is training FM, Matt Davis. David Scarica, Addicted, Sir Daddy, White Peacock Andy, Robert Swift, Matt Sweeby, Jack Dillion, Harmony Fair, Fairy Love, Anthony Johnson, Sham Nordin, and of course, John Heckles, absolute legends, each and every one of you. Thank you so much for your support, as always. Let's have a look. We're on 64 likes on this stream as well, so thank you very much for your support. Um, let's have a look. Greg says, Joe, have you heard of Rugby League? If you have heard of Leeds Rhinos, and also is Rugby League big in Leeds. Yeah, well, Rugby League is a northern sport, isn't it? Um, I used to play for a team called Queensbury Crushers when I was younger. One of my best friends, his dad run it, Johnny Me, uh, his dad, Craig, and his brother, Matty. Matty had trials for Bradford Bulls. So Rugby League was quite big when I was growing up. Um, Halifax Blue Sox, they're not called that anymore. They used to be in the Super League, they're not anymore. Um, so I used to go watch that. It used to be in Pelham, where I'm from. It used to be in a place called Frum Hall, where the Asda is now. But now they, they play rugby at the Shea Stadium, where Halifax Town play. Um, but yeah, I played rugby for a little bit for uh, a team called Queensbury Crushers. And I'll never forget the first game that I played. I got handed off. You know what hand off is, yeah? Straight to the nose. Boom. Straight on the deck. I wasn't great. I wasn't built for rugby. I wasn't built for rugby. <laughs> <clears throat> Greg's had 45 stitches on his ear because of rugby. Wow. That's what I mean. I'm not built for rugby. No worries. No worries, John. Thank you very much for becoming a member. John Heckles, the latest member of Just Joe FC. You're an absolute legend, John. I feel bad for Harmony because she didn't get one of these green things because she didn't do it live on the stream, you see. I feel bad for your Harmony, but I sang for you earlier, so it's all good. And my sweet Harmony, sweet Harmony. Oh, there you go. John Heckles says, um, as if you're from Pelham, I'm Ovindon. Yeah, I'm Pelham, man. I'm from Halifax, mate. My brother and my mum still live in Pelham. Uh, I've got, I've been, my brother lives, um, do you know Wheatley? You'll know Wheatley, won't you? My brother lives in Wheatley, my oldest brother. I've got three brothers. There's four of us in total. Um, but yeah, my, um, my brother lives in Wheatley. Um, but I know I've done well, mate. I know I've been doing it worth mixing in Pelham. Yeah, I'm in Pelham. I go off to Halifax quite a bit, mate. So next time I'm uh, next time I'm down, John, give me a shout. Um, I go see my family quite a lot. So big shout out, John, Halifax. <clears throat> yeah, right lane, mate. Right lane. <laughs> That's where I'm from. So how do we see this second half going, guys? I want to know. In the, uh, in the comments, how you see this second half going. Obviously, Ukraine went 1-0 up for a go oh, chance with a goal from Manchester City's Zinchenko. 
which was equalised not long after by Emil Forsberg. Well, I say not long after, it was towards the back end of the half, wasn't it? Emil Forsberg, assist from Alexandra Isak. Michael Brown says, the one thing I like about Southgate, uh, he gives young players um, an opportunity that comes from the fact he had previous manager under 21. So, yeah, he gives everyone an opportunity, doesn't he? Christopher, don't worry about me. You don't need to apologise. Here's Forsberg, who I think has had a great game so far for Sweden. I know Wheatley very well. I used to work for Adam Foggy, his mum and dad. Forgot the name of the pub. Yeah, I know Adam Foggy. Ball over the top, looking for Isak. Tries to head it into Kolevsky. No joy. Oh, Isak. Sweden do look the ones, don't we? Yeah, that's right, Greg. The Shea, mate. The Shea. Shea men. That was the first time I ever seen Leeds, you know, at the Shea. They played in a pre-season against Halifax Town. Because I've always supported Leeds, but my, I didn't have much growing up, mate, so I could never go to Wellham Road. So that was the first time I actually got to see him live um, at the Shea Stadium. Emil Forsberg. Good turn. Kodoshevsky, great turn. Oh, just couldn't get it out from under his feet. Harmony says, I think Andy uh, White Peacock will be a quids in, sticking with 3 1. Matt Bean says, I've just moved to the dark side, Lancashire from uh, Boy Lane, Wheatley. Halifax is a great place to live. It's nice, man. It's nice. It's got its rough bits, but so is everywhere, on it? But it's a uh, oh, good ball in that. Well defended, well. Yeah, some nice places, man. In Yorkshire. Yorkshire's God's own country, though, isn't it? Some lovely places in Yorkshire. Owen says, who would you rather, Sweden or Ukraine? I'd rather face Ukraine, but that's because I think Sweden are better. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I've just spilled juice on the England top. What an idiot. Yeah, I'd rather... Let me get... Oh, where's my bin? I really need to empty this bin, though. It's just full of monsters. <laughs> I really should empty that bin. I'll sort it out after this stream. It's full up to the top. Here's Zinchenko. Fingers crossed, Harmony says White Peacock Andy, yet. Yeah. Ukraine passing it around at the back of Mio Forsberg pressing. Well done there by Lindelof. Uh, Christopher, I've got a pick of the new lead shirt. Yeah, I've seen it, mate. It's uh, it's just exactly the same, apart from the the arms are yellow instead of blue. There's also Forsberg, been the player of the tournament for Sweden, I think. Forsberg, Olsen looking for the runner, Larson. How old's Larson now? He's got to be getting on, and he? he seems to have been playing forever. 36, 36 year old Seb Larson. Kuliszewski, wide on the right, tries to get a ball in the box. No, I don't watch rugby league, Greg. I don't watch it, mate. What do you think of the blue one and the lilac one? I don't mind them blue. It is what it is. Kits are kits, aren't they? I'll end up buying them. I always do. Um, so there's the, there's the lilac-y purple one in there. That I think's the third kit. We've got the blue one that's got like this mad pattern on it. I will buy them, but... Seen the picture of Calvin walking down the tunnel? I have, Owen. Yeah, it's a thing of beauty, isn't it? Ball in. Oh, there's a chance here. Yarmolenko, Olsen out, heads it out. Maybe he was offside. No offside given. 
Christopher, who got you supporting these, or what got me supporting these? Just my brothers and that mate, my mum's boyfriend. And they were the number one team in Yorkshire, weren't they? A lot of my mates were like Liverpool, Manchester United, growing up, but Leeds, mate, and then it's just like a family, isn't it? Once you're in, that's it. <laughs> Here's Zinchenko. That's a lovely ball. Oh. Great, great defending there. Seb is 93, says Harmony. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, he's so old, man. Do you think as well, Harmony, had Zlatan been at this tournament, I don't think Sweden would have done as well, which I know is mad because I really like Zlatan Ibrahimovic. I've read his autobiography. It's absolutely fantastic. I, I think he's a great character. But you could argue, had he, had been, he not been at the tournament, or had he been at the tournament that... that Sweden wouldn't have done as well, maybe. I don't know what you think about that. Yamalenko trying to cross one in. It's going to fall. Pull shot. No good strike there. Yamalenko, though, causing problems. Tries to cross one in. It's good defending. Causing all sorts of problems, Yamalenko. Here's Olsen. Too much space for him to just glide through that midfield there. Nice to see Freddie Jungberg on ITV. He was a great player he was. I used to like Freddie Jungberg when he was at Arsenal. They had a great side then though, didn't they? Arsenal, Perez, Vieira, Petit, Jungberg, Henri. What a side that... Oh, strike. Larson wide. Matt Bean says, where can I find the Calvin Tunnel pick? I'll get it for you, mate. Give me a second. I'll get it off Twitter for you. Just bear me one minute. If my Wi-Fi drops, it's your fault. <laughs> Just give me a second. I'll get it for you. There's been some really great picks, actually. Uh, one sec. And i find it for you now. Yeah, I've got it. Give me two seconds. There's a better one though. Give me a second, I'm just getting you the best images that I've seen. There we go. All sorted, right, I'm gonna show you them now. Bergkamp as well, yeah. What a player he was. That Arsenal side, the Invincibles. Amazing. Here's Yamalenko. Cut back. That's a great assist. Oh, off the post. I tell you what. Again, Yamalenko causing problems with the key assist. It's a great strike, but it's off the post. Ukraine are dangerous. Oh, it's a great strike as well. It's just on the wrong side of the post. It's been a great game, hasn't it? It's been a great game. Just uploading that picture for you now, mate. Just bear me one sec. Here's Sweden on the attack. Tries to play a ball into Isaac, no joy. There we go, they're uploaded now. Wi-Fi's just dropped, I'll wait for it to come back. Here's Yamalenko again. Ah, oh, poor touch. Olsen, who's done well from midfield. Here's Isaac on the run. There, there. Forsberg's in. Oh, it's off the post. Post to post. Post to post. I thought he'd score there. Forsberg. Oh, it's a great strike. As soon as Isak picks it up and he's able to run into space. Great strike there from Forsberg. Oh, off the post. It's a great game. 
Here's that tunnel pick you were after, Calvin there, look. And then there's this one as well, which I think is a beauty. Calvin Grealish and Rice. And then this one as well after the goal was scored. My favourite one about this, though, look at Kyle Walker's face. <laughs> Kyle Walker's going absolutely mental. And obviously Calvin with his big grin, as is always the case. But yeah, beautiful. So close for Sweden there. This Forsberg. Yeah. Phillips, yeah, it was classy. That goal pick is class cheers, yeah. I think it is, right? The best thing is Kyle Walker. Kyle Walker. <laughs> He's going absolutely insane. That was all of us, though, wasn't it? That was all of us. It was insane, man. Here's Victor Lindelof. Good vibes, good vibes, good vibes, good vibes. Third half's nice to see you here. I haven't seen you here before. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's free for you to do so. You can subscribe there. Uh, Ilias as well, Farah. Welcome, brother. Welcome. Nice of you to be here. Thank you for your support. Oh, it's a chance. Oh, Forsberg again with a lovely little ball. Forsberg's just pivotal in everything that Sweden do. Ball in. Oh, it's going to miss. Oh. Sweden knocking at the door. No, Greg, my partner. I mean, I don't know if she supports Leeds. Amy? Amy? Do you support Leeds? Eh? Yeah. Good lass. She says yeah, but she's a Newcastle fan, I think. Are you a Newcastle fan, really? <laughs> she says she's a Newcastle fan at heart, really. But she just keeps me happy. <laughs> Yeah, she's got right. She's got this red case, it's about this big, and it's just full of Newcastle shirts. So obviously, when she was younger, her dad's a Newcastle fan, so um, she's got like Clive, uh, um, Shearer, uh, all these different shirts. Do you remember that Newcastle? Like, I think it was like an orangey color. What a ball, Isak! Oh, he's got a score there, Isak, hasn't he? Is that Forsberg who plays that ball? No, it's not, is it? Oh, it might be offside, but it's got a score there, Ronnie. It? It's got a score. I think it was onside. I don't know why they're not saying it. I think it's Sharpenenko, Malinowski coming on. I've seen someone say that Tony Cruz has retired. <laughs> Listen to this. A guy's just... <laughs> Michael Delaney, who's a reporter um, at the Independent at the England game. Um, obviously, he must be a chief reporter. And he says, a man graciously comes up to the press box and says... I've got a headline for you. England's two, Germany nil. Close your laptops. Let's go get... <laughs> That's what he must have said. That's brilliant. Love it, man. Declan Rice has been talking on BBC Live Sport. He says, with me and Calv, people are always going to write us off. Fighting talk from Declan Rice, who says he and Calvin Phillips deserve to be playing at this level. Love it. 
Mark Ogden, senior writer of ESPN, says it's West Ham and Leeds versus Bayern and Real Madrid. So obviously a golfing class. This was before the match, obviously. Square ball straight in his mentions. Love to see it. Class, class. KP retired Cruz. I don't know if that is true. Someone said it. I, I don't know if Cruz has actually retired. I've just seen someone put that in the comments. I don't know if it's true. Here's Zinchenko. We know he can deliver. There's a chance here for Ukraine. Oh, she tried to give it Yamalenko. No joy. Yeah, win exactly. Now, Lorente has had no game time. Has he? Tyler Roberts got about 14 minutes or something, 12 minutes. It's all good because it keeps him fit and ready for Leeds, though. That's the thing. Why like Peacock says, I've just watched a video of Jack Harrison on Insta. Yeah, listen, Jack Harrison never stops working. Jack Harrison never stops working. This is end to end, though, this game, to be honest. Here's Lindelof. I say Dahl, Forsberg loses out this time. I really like Ols Olsen, Ekdal, and Forsberg. Good side, Sweden. Kuroshevsky. Olsen. I bomb was horse said Jack Harrison will be even better when he signs for Leeds permanently because he will have a home. He's always been a permanent player, and he had bomb the talks crap. Talks tripe. Rafia van der Linden is back. Hey man, welcome back, brother. I know you were here yesterday. Thank you for coming back. Make sure you subscribe. I'm assuming you have because you're back. But thank you. Here's Olsen. Marcus May says, apparently Dominic Calvert-Lewin was fuming. He wasn't even on the bench today. Well, he's probably not going to be happy, but he can't be fuming, can we? We beat Germany 2-0. He's Isak. Oh, nice, that. Hey, Dal, we've got 26 likes off 100, guys. Make sure you smash a like if you haven't already. Does Firpo, Cockle, or any alien look like a back four that qualifies for Europe? Certainly does, mate. Certainly does. I don't think it'll be Cock and Lorente, though. I think we might start with uh, Pascal Strauch and Lorente, or maybe Pascal and Cock. I'm not sure. Could even be Cooper. Could even be Cooper. Christopher thinks Aileen will be gone. I don't think he will, mate. Aileen's not going anywhere. We're not even after a right back. I don't think we're concerned there. Dallas can play there as well if needed. Huggins got Cody Drama as well. Corner ball. Deflection. 25 minutes left. This is the last of the round of 16. Winner of this will take on the mighty England. And then Forsberg with the set piece. Oh, it's a great ball as well, Ekdal. Another chance. Oh, what a strike, what a save. Great strike for that, Kulevsky. Hey, uh, Harmony's just said, I wish you would get more involved. And then he just pops up like that. <laughs> Curse of the commentator. It's Forsberg again. Fifth corner now. In it comes. Slow. Is there a chance here for Ukraine to break? Zinchenko. Malinovsky. Yamalenko's the, the option, surely. Yamalenko, oh, 
Do you know that's on his left foot? I thought Yarmolenko was going to bend that in then. I genuinely thought Yarmolenko was going to bend that in there because that's his perfect position. You're just thinking, boom, and he just can't get enough on it. It's a great game, this, end-to-end, end. end to end Blue Leeds is still praying for Kuna. What a save that is as well. The yellow swarm, even he sat back defending there, says Harmony. England have some great wingers, they do, Christopher. He sat, what a ball. Oh, it's a great ball. Looking for Larson. Geriatric. <laughs> Bushman. Owen says we should have enough for both of these, no disrespect. That's what I'm saying. It's not going to be end-to-end -end like this, is it? Because England just defend. They've still yet to concede a goal. They defend so well. So, so well. There's Forsberg. <laughs> Shevchenko not happy. <laughs> Here's Lindelof. Olsen, Ekdal, this is good from Sweden, I can I can feel a chance coming, Lindelof allowed to go into, mid, into midfield, there's a chance coming here for Sweden, Forsberg, great run again, Forsberg, my god, what a baller he is. Forsberg, I said I could sense a chance coming, didn't I? Forsberg, absolutely amazing. Kuliszewski, yellow card. Look at that from Forsberg. Oh. It's a great strike, that. Keep, keep her no chance. He's just stood there. It's great from Forsberg, that. Dominic Martin said, this is fun. Beauty is, I don't care who wins it. Good game, good game. <laughs> First Bruce Forsyth. Good game, good game. Ooh, good game. <laughs> Forsberg hitting the bar. Good. I said a chance was coming, did I? <laughs> Malinowski, poor ball. Looking for Yarmolenko. Do we think it's going to be one in normal time? I've got a feeling it is. It is. Forsberg. Danielson. Forsberg. They move it out to the right. Well done. You've got a fancy Sweden, but the thing is, on the counter, Ukraine looked like they could, Whenever they counter, they look like they could score at will as well, you know what I mean? So... Here's... Ekdal, Larsen... Zinchenko, ball cleared, Yorkshire's finest says uh, Sweden could be a real banana, anyone could be a banana skin, we've seen that with Iceland didn't we, I just think we're, we're different, different man, we'll find a way, here's Isak, looking for the first time ball, Forsberg back to Isak, good combination between the two, yawning, Gustafsson, You know, remember after Scotland and we had people like Graham Thunes and that saying, oh, it's not coming home, they need a Billy Gilmore. It's definitely not coming home with a team like that. Come on, we haven't even conceded a goal, man. Oh. Kulajewski. 
trying to get involved now as Harmony, Harmony asked. Ekdal moves out to the right. Can he get a ball in the box here? There's options. Poor cross. Sophie Abri says, this is rubbish. It's good, man. What's rubbish, Sophie? This or the game? If it's this, I'm sorry. <laughs> I try my best, Sophie. I try my I try my best for you. But you can subscribe as well, Sophie, if you want to. You don't have to. <laughs> if it's rubbish, don't bother. I won't. I won't bother. I won't bother wasting my time if you think it's rubbish. I won't bother wasting my time. <laughs> Yeah, Jordan Dick says, I'm getting tired from that game. Took it out of me. It did as well, man. Did for me. I'm going to have to crop them up out of the goals. We've got about 18 minutes left. Still one apiece. Moved out to the right. It's good from Ukraine. Knocking it about. Can they carve a chance out? Zinchenko of Manchester City, the goal scorer. Stepanenko. They do defend really well as well, Sweden. Ayan Nazam says, who do you think is going to win? I think Sweden, mate, 2-1. I think we're going to get a late goal, but it could go either way. It could go 2-1 Ukraine as well. Sweden throwing everything out. Maybe Ukraine on the, on the counter. Yarmolenko. You know, he comes up with the goods for uh, for Ukraine. Here's Zinchenko again. They're trying to look for Yarmolenko out there. Right, they've had to go back. 90 people watching. Keep smashing a like on the stream. Let's get up to 100 views, guys. Yes, sir. I think Sweden as well says I am Nazam. I hope you're right. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. I am. It's free to do so, brother. It'd be great to have you back. Here's Yamalenko. Ball in. Lorenchuk. Chance here for Ukraine. Stepanenko goes for a strike, but Ekdal out to defend it. Some real. Decent pressure currently from Ukraine. Joe, did you get the caffeine kick? I didn't. I didn't end up having a coffee, you know, Alison, at my. I didn't. Because it's late and I'm tired, so I'm going to watch this and get my head down. Ayan Nazam says, have you got the message that I've subbed? I haven't, but thank you for subscribing, mate. That's really... Really great of you to do so. I love that. Ethan plays games, says, uh, great win for us. I think it's going to be another win for us against Sweden or Ukraine. I hope you're right. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I've been watching, uh, when I got to bed, I've been watching um, the Zodiac Killer. Have any of you seen that, the Zodiac Killer? I love my true crime stuff, you see. I could watch it all day and all night if I could. But yeah, I've been watching the Zodiac Killer. It's fantastic. I just finished watching something about the Unabomber. You know, the Unabomber in America. Um, what was it before that? I just love true crime stuff I've watched. Netflix is amazing for it. <laughs> but there's a new one on Sky about that Gillian Maxwell and um, what's that guy called, man? Amy, what's that guy called? That Gillian Maxwell's husband. That guy, man. Epstein, that's it, yeah, Jeffrey Epstein, yeah. And his Mrs. Gillian Maxwell, or whatever she's called. Yeah, uh, I am, as I am, thank you for subbing, show the love for, I am. Can you see Calvin not getting a yellow until the final, I know. How many has he got over the tournament? Do you know? I don't know. Ethan says, I'm 100% for the action movies. What, what's your favourite, Ethan? 
Have you ever seen a film called The Departed? That's the best film ever. It's my favourite film. It's amazing. I like Rocky 1 through 2, 4. Brilliant. It's another Terminator 2. Classic. Terminator 2 is amazing. Well, I'm not afraid to say I cried as well on Terminator 2, you know. I cried. And he goes down the metal thing. And then at the end, yeah, he goes. Whoosh, and then goes into the metal. Do you know that one? Baby is a great film, says Risdale's Tropical Fish, yeah. I love The Departed. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's great. George, does your partner Amy like football? She does. She doesn't mind it. She watched the England game earlier on. Um, she watches it with me when it's on. She doesn't mind. Did you know England won Germany? Yes, I, I, I did. Look, I did. Of course I did, brother. Terminator 1 and Predator. says Alien 10. It's all about... Ter no, Terminator 2 is better. Terminator 2 is better than 1. Forsberg... With the with the young lad on the motorbike and that, and then the liquid copper, the copper that goes into liquid, it's class, man. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Amy, have you ever seen Terminator Two? No. You never seen Terminator. You have. Not Terminator Two. Uh, you have to watch it tonight. <laughs> Eh? Eh? Good night. I don't know what she's saying. Can't hear her. Die Hard 1. No, I'm not a fan of Die Hard, you know. Foul on Yamalenko by Ekdal. Was it Olsen? Sorry. Ekdal. Set piece to come in. Nah, I'll be back. <laughs> You're a Leeds fan, I'm a Man United fan, but there's no rivalry here for England. No matter which club you support, we are all in this together, says Ethan plays games. That's right, brother. We are all in this together. England are going to win the Euros and then go on and win the World Cup. This water tasting good. It's got a red colour, says Gail. <laughs> Ian says, hopefully England will win the Euro 2020 World Cup. Yeah, 2022. World Cup Euros 2020. Sinchenko, great position in the box. He's got it back though. We know he can deliver. His ball comes out to Emil Forsberg. Chance. <clears throat> Kulashevsky. He's got a chance on the right. Can he find Isak? Oh, great challenge. Same as my music, I like pretty much all sorts. I'm the same as you, Zero. I listen to everything, man. Absolutely everything. I answers how long left. We've got 10 minutes. 10 minutes. This game's not right. Cracking for me. I'm off to my pit. Good night, all. Good night, Yorkshire's finest. Thanks, you for being here. Risdale Tropical Fish says plenty of Ethan's like gaming. I know, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking it was him on a different account. Um, but then when he said he's a Man United fan, I was like, oh... Can't be. Another late one says Mark Jones. I hope not. I hope not, mate. I'm looking forward to a couple of days rest. I'm not going to lie. I'm looking forward to a couple of days rest. Still get the daily leads out every day, of course, but if you watch long, just take it out of you, you know. Boy, it looks like we could. But I said, I think it could be one early, and I think it'll be Sweden, but it could easily be Ukraine, you know. I answer everybody like it up for this man. He deserves it. Thank you. And if you're new here as well, subscribe to the channel. It's free for you to do so. Make sure you make that happen. Yeah, Marcus, we're going to be doing them from now till the end, mate. From now till the end. A few Swedens. What time do you do the lead? Daily leads comes out at six a.m. Risdale says the group of death was deadly, wasn't it? Yeah. There's only what? Oh, there's none of them left, is there? <laughs> there's none of them left. 
There's actually none of them left. Yeah, Germany, Portugal and France all out. Sure was. Look at that. How many of you related to Jesus turning water into wine, Gail? He's a Forsberg strike. Yeah, exactly. This is it. Um, they're going to be in the final. And in the final, it's at Wembley. Oh. Can you imagine the scenes? I think I might go to London just for it. <laughs> Still on. Augustinson having some work done. Got two subs coming on now for Sweden. Gonna make some changes. Pierre Bankstenson for Ludwig Augustinson coming off injured. to win 2-0 on Saturday says Thomas Gilbert a nice early prediction yeah remember the games will be back so we'll finish this obviously and then Wednesday Thursday and then Friday is when the games kick back off Lustig on for Emil oh sorry off for, for Kraft Emil Kraft Risdale Tropical Fish says uh Wonder how many times Scotland have pushed their nil-nil against England trophy at Wembley. I know, exactly. Yo, do you remember him as well, George? Do you know what happened to that guy who used to max out his credit cards for his parents? Yeah, ask him. Ask him, yeah. I wonder what ever happened to him. I remember him. Yo, I've not seen him actually for a long time. I don't know if he's still rocking up on the uh, All Leeds TV streams, to be fair. But, yeah, I don't know where Asim's gone to. Oh, yeah, Malenko. Would you rather play Belgium or Italy in the final? I would probably rather play Italy, if I'm honest. But I've said that Italy could win it all. But I think out of the two, I think, yeah, probably Italy. I think, I don't know, that'd be tough. <laughs> Ask him he's bankrupt now. Yeah, that's it. He's gone. And maybe he's um, he's been sent back to his yeah yeah maybe his parents have sent him home or something. I don't know. Forsberg, that's not a free kick. That's not a yellow card. What's Forsberg done there? I don't know why he's. Let's have a look. Oh my God, why is he giving me a yellow card? Look at that, guys. It, it's on his shoulder. He's touched his shoulder and he's giving me a yellow card. That's a shocker. That's a joke. Ted Player says, Fox and Asun, new signing from Birmingham. Happy, Ted. Happy. Amari Miller, winger from Birmingham. A lot to be said about him. Comes in. I did a bit on him this morning on the daily leads. Hopefully, you get a chance to check that out. We heard um, we heard from Brummy Joe as well, who's a Birmingham City fan. He was on there as well. So yeah, watch that last night. Maybe we did a watch along for it. Switzerland went through. It was a great watch. Saving Private Ryan, cracking film yet? I haven't heard back from Connor in a couple of days, mate. Since I last said. Five minutes left to go. It's still one apiece. Could we be looking at extra time here? I hope not. I'm tired. <laughs> the Birmingham Chief compared Miller to Jude. I think I've seen him compare him to like Nathan Redmond. Who else? There was another one as well. Some, some others that have come off the Birmingham uh, conveyor belt of players. Mark Brown is in the house. How are you doing, Mark? I, I wonder if that's my friend, Mark. Could well be, you know. Could well be my friend, Mark Brown, because he likes F1. 
Black Hawk Down right film, yeah. That's how that plane goes down, isn't it? Yeah, it's a true story as well, that I think. It's Black Hawk Down. Olsen with the eyes feet. It looks like we could be going to extra time, guys. Oh, it's gone out. Yeah, that's it. Helicopter, yeah. Just sending a quick text to the missus. I need to put a seat to mall. That's a ball out. Here's a chance. Oh. There's Sinchenko a chance to get one in the box. Can we have a late winner here from Ukraine? I'm not sure if we're allowed into Italy, Michael, to be honest with the with the fans and stuff. Zinchenko. He's offside. Yeah. Mark Brown says you must be pleased with the Yorkshire Perlo. Absolutely over the moon, Mark. Keeping out your boy Jordan Henderson. <laughs> Liverpool captain, Champions League winner, Premier League winner, getting kept out of the side by the Yorkshire Perlo. <laughs> nah, listen, he's been amazing. He's the only player to play every minute for Gareth. He absolutely loves him. Obviously, you know I love him. Listen, I said, time, you know I've said, Mark, when we used to work together, Calvin will play for England, all that sort of stuff. I remember saying it, people like, yeah, yeah, people like, uh, Lucas and that, all that stuff. Remember, I said it all. Chance. Why has he took a touch? He should have hit it first time. He shouldn't have took that touch, you know. Let's have a look. Great ball from Ekdal. For me, he should hit it there. But he takes a touch. Great defending. Great defending. I think he should hit it first time. I don't know what you guys think. Yeah, nice tribute to Granny Val from Calvin. Yeah, he had a name, didn't he? Put on the England boot. A chance here for Larson. Can we have a late winner? Alexandre Sack on the end of it. Lindelof. Kulajewski, maybe it comes out to Forsberg. Poor cross. Poor cross. Oh, oh, Malinovsky, poor touch. I've just seen someone put the Sons of Sam thing on. That was brilliant. I've watched it, bro. Yeah, I've left all these TV Ted players, but we're still very good friends. I left um, at the end of the season after West Brom, mate. Just, I've got university coming up and I've got my own channel, so it's just to focus on that. But I'm actually playing football with uh, All Leeds TV next week. Um, we're playing against Victor Orta, Angus Kinnear, Thomas Kerwin, Ben Parker. Um, so it's All Leeds TV versus LU TV. So, yeah, looking at it. Had to hit Mark, he did, didn't he? Harmony knows, yeah. Stefan saying, I read the club are giving £140 million in, in transfer money. I don't know if that's right, mate. I don't know about that, how much we're we paying for Furpo, Fir Fir 15 million, so that'd still leave us with a hell of a lot of money. I don't think we'll be spending that much, mate. Here's Ekdal dropping deep. We've got a minute left of normal time. <laughs> Harmony. <laughs> Harmony. You predicted Sweden 11, Ukraine 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is Forsberg, can he make something happen? Pull ball to Golevsky. 
chance for Ukraine maybe on the counter. There's a little part of me just going, just one of your score, will you? I need me bed. Someone seen guys in have you watched Son of Sam? Where is it? I can see it. Yeah, that was it. LUFC Marco. Have you watched Son of Sam? If you like true crime, it's brilliant, isn't it? Sons of Sam. It's proper interesting stuff. 13 to 1. 13 1 harmony said as a joke when we wanted another 14 goals today. You did, yeah. But we've got two. England got two of them, so we only needed 12. You've got two, so we've got 10. So we need like 10 goals in extra time. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Right, guys, I'm just going to pop for a quick break. I need to get some paracetamol. I'm getting a, getting a bad chest. Um, so I'm just going to get some paracetamol and drink. I'll be back with you in two minutes, you absolute legends. Peace out. See you soon.
I'm late. I'm late. I really must stop that. I'm late. And my apologies, guys. <laughs> I'm late again. My my bad. Yeah, yeah. Bad chest. I get it. It's sometimes I I have to take paracetamol on that. It's okay though. It's okay. Another draw though after ninety minutes. Gil Savile in the chat. Nice to see you, mate. Good friend. Hope you're well. Here, Jas Severja. I'm assuming that's come on Sweden. Something along them lines. Jill Savile in the chat. This one's going to go to pens, do we think, guys? How do we see it going? It's currently ones apiece. Sorry for being late a minute. It's a good job I didn't miss a goal, innit? That'd have been a nightmare. Ukraine. Any substitutions made since the break? Ball over. Zinchenko. He's out. We know he's dangerous. It's all left foot, though. All left foot. Score on the screen. Yeah, my apologies. Thank you for that. I'm surprised that we've not seen no changes though up front from Sweden. I know he's done that pre in previous games, changed the two front men. Here's Yamalenko. And again, good work from Ukraine down that right hand side. Yamachuk's gone off. Mercedes, I'm assuming, come on for Yarmachuk, Vieira, Palace manager. Manager, has it been confirmed? I know it was uh, mentioned. I, I've already made the made the prediction. You know that uh, if um, if if Vieira does go to Palace, that uh, they'll um, they'll get he'll be the first manager sacked in the Premier League. That's my uh, prediction. Yeah, Marenchuk coming on for Stepanenko. Did you see Berem repping his England shirt on the Leeds Live Facebook page early? I didn't, mate, no. I don't blame him, though. No. All got in it. We've all got in this spirit, haven't we? Especially with Calvin playing there. It just adds to it. Don't understand the appointment of Vieira, says Gil. Yeah, it's a strange one, isn't it? It's a strange one. It is a strange one. I mean, what's his managerial pedigree? He was in America for a bit, wasn't he? I'm just not sure he's the right manager for Palace. They've made some strange decisions in the past, though. The De Boer one, for example. He's he's got anti from Netherlands. It's Forsberg, Ekdal, out wide to the right back, Kraft. Newcastle, I believe. Kraft, Larson. Stayed in. Oh, he's tried to play ball inside. No joy. I think this is going to penalties, guys. Owen said I didn't have much interest in England, but since Calvin is playing, it's changed. Yeah. Falling back in love with it. Falling back in love with it. White Peacock, yeah, managed Jack Harrison at New York City. Marcus Mason, Patrick Vieira, done his coaching badges near to where he lives. Interesting. What's this now? Three substitutions. Got three substitutions now coming on for Sweden. Fresh legs. Kulazewski for Kuyson. There's the changes up front that I said that they'd done previously. Kulazewski, Alexander Isak as well. Now both the both the front men coming off. Marcus Berg coming on. Jill Savile says stick Pontus up front. <laughs> Pontus Janssen's magic. Larson as well off. That's th triple substitution by Sweden. Fresh legs. Clarsen on. 
for Sweden. Three substitutions, that's going to give them loads of energy up front. Sweden not going for the penalties, three attacking substitutions on. You know, it's going to give them freshness in the attack, fresh legs, energy. Free kick here for Ukraine, yellow card. Danielson with the challenge. Oh. Yo, that could have been a leg break, you know. Are they going to VAR that? That could have been a leg breaker. That's a bad challenge. I think he's going to go with you. This, this, this one here could be like the Cooper one. He's not intended to do that, but it is so high on the knee. The way that his knee's gone, Danielson could be sent off here for me. I think he's going to get sent off because it looks naughty as. Oh, God, he could have broke his leg. He's going to go with you, guys. Ah, referee's going to send him off here. He will go with you, guys, because that there, he's nearly snapped his knee, man. Definite red. Look at that. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm surprised the, the attack has come off. I know it's accidental, Marcus, but... Yeah, he's red. He's going. Ah, wow. It is a red card, though. Look, it is. It's like the Cooper one we've seen against Manchester City. It is a red card. Marcus Danielson sent off after VAR check from yellow to red. Oh, when whenever they go to the screen, it's bad. You're right, mate. You're right. Look, and, and Bessie didn't hear yet. See, he's, he's caused him some serious injury. Harmony, look, who's, who's Swedish or has a dog in the fight saying it, it, it's, a, it's a red card. And that, that player could be in some serious pain, man. Ah, that's poor. That's poor. I feel bad for him because it's, it's not intentional. Do you know what I mean? But Bessie in there who's just come on. Came on for Yarmachuk and I think he can't go on, can he, surely? The Nielsen straight down the tunnel. Yeah, it, Greg, it could have. It could have been a leg breaker, definitely. Definitely could have been a leg breaker. Gonna see some more substitutions now. Sweden, obviously, and it's Olsen who's gonna make way. I thought he's played really well, Olsen. To be fair, he's gonna have to come on for uh, come off Philip Hellander to go play at the back. Plays for Rangers. I'm gonna see a substitution from Ukraine as well. Obviously, the the, the striker can't continue after that. It looked really bad. Bessard in and uh, I can't even, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that guy's name. Chizinikov, Chizinikov, but Bessard in there is in some real pain and I'm not surprised it was a, it was a bad one. He's come a long way from the Karate Kid films, Mr. Miyagi would be proud. Daniel San, <laughs> Matt Brown, something's never changed. What, what are we saying? It's a brutal challenge. Barry Whitwell, where are the police after that tackle? The rest need to be made. Not happy. <laughs> it wasn't intentional. He's gone for the ball. His momentum has carried him through, but it's a definite red. But he's not He's not gone in to say, I'm going to snap this guy's knee. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't intentional. 
It's a bit like the Cooper one against Sterling and, and, and Leeds fans with their Leeds tinted glasses on were going, it's never a red. But that's the same sort of situation. Yeah, I've seen that red card challenge. Yeah, it was a red card challenge. It was bad. Zinchenko. It's Ukraine got to be favourites now. Sweden down to 10 men. Yeah, it was same as Cooper, wasn't it? Dominic Martin, maybe Pontus will come on now. They've gone for the, the Rangers, the, the guy that plays at Rangers. No Pontus Janssen. I was just going to mention Cooper did pretty much the same. Yeah, he did for Vavoom. But Leeds fans were saying it wasn't a red, and I was saying it definitely is a red. I remember having a debate on all Leeds TV over it. It definitely was a red. I know he didn't intend to do it, but he caused harm after, after the fact. And that's a similar thing. Is Zinchenko. You got a fancy Ukraine in this in the last part to just dominate it. Sweden will have to be the team that play on the counter as opposed to the other way around in the first 90 minutes. I think we could end up going to you can just see Best the Sal there still on the side of the pitch, not being able to get off the side of the pitch yet. See Hankoff cross to the back post. Ooh. Goal kick. Marcus Mason, I've got vision to KP signing for City when Fernandinho calls it. There. Look, there he is. He's in some bad pain. I'm not surprised. Because when you watched it back, man, his leg was like... <sighs> Dominic Martin, Sweden will park the bus and up for pens now unless they can get a set piece. Yeah, all the odd counter. They've got two fresh legs up top, obviously. Isak and... Uh, you have the guy taken off, so they do have fresh legs there. But you've got to fancy Ukraine now to at least get some chances. It's good work there. Ah. There it is, Zinchenko. We know he can deliver. Oh, it's a bloody hell, is he knocked him out there? Kraft's been knocked out there with the ball from uh, Zinchenko. Let's have a look. Oh. Tell you that, man. Sunday league, you're like, get up. Get up, you girl. You've only been hitting face with ball. What's up with you? Get up. <laughs> Tell you what, though, Zinchenko's hit that with some pace. He's nearly knocked him, knocked his socks off. He's out cold. Oh, there he is, though. It is strange, isn't it? Why, why, why is he not going on the stretcher? Why haven't he gone on the stretcher? And they've just gone like that to him. No, it's all right, it's all right. But why haven't he gone on the stretcher? Surely it'd be easier if he did. So they don't have to carry him around the pitch like that. And you've got the Swedish fella on the ground here. Kraft, just come on. Sparked out bit ball. Straight in tempo though. Cross said you'll have to go off. Shevchenko having a word. Nine men currently. It's another corner. Gonna be another set piece. Corner ball. Zinchenko's asking for it. He's got it. He's gonna whip it in surely on that left foot. See if he can knock another Sweden body out. Here we go. Pull ball. Awful corner, yeah. 
it's a good point made by Mark Jones as well. We've got um that's not a free kick, man. That's soft. He's jumped on the floor. Good point made by Mark. The fact that you know Sweden now play with the Reds. We've got a few injuries happening. It's really opening up for England. <laughs> Gail, is Gail gone? Gail. Welcome. Thanks for being here all day. You're a legend. You go sleep that beer off now. Go sleep that hangover off. There's a ball over. Rare chance in this extra time for Sweden. It's going to be a throw. Going to get it straight in the box, surely. I don't know, Michael Brown. I don't know, mate. Craft here. <laughs> Mark Jones, man. <laughs> Craft throwing. Is it going to drop for Forsberg or drops on his right? They're dropping like flies, aren't they? Well, he's hurt himself. Forsberg hurt himself. You've got the Ukraine defender on the deck. Is this game going to finish or what? <laughs> Matt Brown. Schoolboy area, your stream started again from the beginning. I was watching it for five minutes without realising. <laughs> Mad. Make sure you subscribe, Matt, by the way. Yeah. He's hurt himself, funny. Bremner's ghost. Nice to see you, mate. I haven't seen you for a couple of days. Since Scotland, actually, Bremner. That's interesting, isn't it? Um, man of the match, the physios, yeah. They're all dying out here. They're all on the last legs, man. Going to be a patched up Ukraine or Sweden team to face England. Kind of high of cross Yamalink. Oh, Yamalink off oh, He's down now. Oh, nice one, Mark. Bremner's ghost been sleeping off his hangover. They're dropping like flies here. Yeah, I'm like, cool. I played 20 minutes now of this half. Half time, guys. Another 15 minutes and then we've got um, penalties, guys. It's been a long couple of days, hasn't it? Half time in the first half of extra time, you look shattered. Fella says, Mark, Mark, I am, mate. Mark, I've been doing these every day during the Euros. Um, I'm a tired boy. But it's all good. We've got a couple of days off, haven't we, before it all kicks off again. No games till Friday. They got Friday, Saturday, then the semi finals. England are going to get to the final, aren't they? Mm. 
Oh, Danielson. Danielson. Jack White, what do you think of the new signing, Miller? It's all good. Harmony says, you know you love it, Joe. I do. I love it. I love spending it with you guys. Yeah, Amari Miller, Jack. Good signing. Bill will be with the under-23s, won't he, with the likes of Geldart, Greenwood, Somerville, etc. But it's for the future, man. And look, that's where Pascal Strauch and Ilian Melier started, wasn't it, in the under-23s? Now look at them. Pascal Strauch's wanted by Holland and Belgium. He's got a choice of which club he can, you know, which international team he can play for. I call him Virgil van Strauch. And you've got Ilya Melier, who for me will be France's number one. So, it's all good for England, though. It's all good for England because no, I know I don't want anyone to be injury, but. They're not going to be able to field an 11 either side by the looks of it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, you got red cards, injuries. England will be playing against, what, six bodies or something? I'm so deaf. I heard you say Hull were interested in Strauch. <laughs> no, mate. <laughs> Holland or Belgium. He, he, they both want him for their international sides. And he's still not made a decision yet, so. But that's not bad, is it? You've got the Hollander a decent side and Belgium are number one ranked in the world. I'm not surprised they want him, though. They've got, like, geriatrics playing at centre-back. Thomas Vermaelen, who's about 45. Well, we're going to get some penalty shootouts, aren't we, for us to finish it. Obviously, yesterday, what a, what, what a turn up for the books. That was Mbappe missing that penalty. You may pick Indonesia yet, yeah, but don't rule. Yeah, Risdale, Tropical Fish, that's right. I knew, I knew there was another team he could uh, play for as well, Indonesia, but I don't think he'll pick Indonesia. I think he'll go Belgium, surely. He's probably got a better chance at Belgium because... Holland have De Vries, De Ligt, Van Dijk, whereas Belgium have Vermaelen, Vertonghen and, and uh, Aldevarel. They're all in, you know, the back end of their career, aren't they? Whereas if Pascal goes to Belgium's, he could well be there, there at the heart of their defence for years to come, whereas Van Dijk, like I say, De Ligt, De Vries um, and Van Dijk... <laughs> Well, it's, that's class, so. Marcus says, I wish Strout was Welsh. I bet he don't wish he was Welsh, mate. <laughs> hey, there's a the ball, look. Sinchenko. Was Has Yarmolenko come off? See, I've not even seen Yarmolenko's being substituted. As I was thinking, why has Zinchenko got the captain's armband? What happened to Yarmolenko? He's gone off. I need to pay attention, don't I? Low blow that, Joe. Sorry, Marcus. I'm only joking. The only reason I'm saying it is because I know you guys, you Leeds Welsh fans, the, the Scottish Leeds fans, were waiting to come at me for me grief in yours. And... You just weren't able to do it <laughs> because, like, oh, I'm Germany, I'm Germany. And then look, you know, we you going in the quarterfinal. We're going to be playing a patched up side. Then we're going to beat Denmark and then we're in the final. And then look, it's anybody's game, isn't it? Anybody's game in the final. <laughs> oh, great little ball. Oh, what a mistake. Oh. Oh, they're all over at Shoppy of Sweden. Ukraine have got 15 minutes to try and turn the screw, but Forsberg, great player for Sweden. What's he got, like four, three or four goals? Offside. Holanda there, nearly. Do you know when he made that mistake there? Why hasn't the number 15 there gone for that? Oh, he slipped himself. I did wonder. 
Mark Brown, I hope Mbappe performs better for Liverpool next season. That is never happening. There's not a chance Mbappe is coming to Liverpool. Not having it. I'd love it. I'd love to see him in the Premier League. I'd love to see Luke Ayling pocket him. Um, but I just can't see Mbappe coming to the Premier League. It would be amazing if he did, though. Get Haaland over as well. Instead of them all going to Real Madrid or Barca, that's where they normally rock up, isn't it? England are the elite clubs. At the minute, again, anyway, it swings and roundabouts, but we are at the minute. England Champions League final. Some great talent coming through. It's just an amazing league. And, of course, Leeds United are in it now as well, so that just makes it even bigger. Got 10 minutes left of this. Zinchenko. Zinchenko. He'll definitely take a penalty and he'll score anyway. I know that much Zinchenko, that left foot. He's been knocking Sweden players out with it. Alanovsky. Can he get a ball in the box? Sweden just defending. It's a yellow wall currently. Oh, he's, there we go. Oh, he's offside. He's offside, guys. Oh, he's missed. <laughs> that is a shocker. He's offside anyway. He's offside, but that's a shocker. You could tell he were miles off, but what if had he not been off? He is off. He is off. Imagine he wasn't. Imagine he wasn't, and he missed that. that that's a shocking miss. Mark Brown, I'm good. We've lost Genie when Aldam. I'm not surprised, mate. He had a good year. Well, I say he had a good year, Rose. He went missing against Czech Republic. Yeah, Anthony Johnson, it was close to the offside. Then originally thought it was a shocking strike, weren't it? If all told, it's going to penalties this one, though. I'm sure of it. Jill Savile been running, John? No, mate, I haven't, to be honest. I've let myself go a bit. Got big boobs again. Not good, mate, not good. I need to get back out there. Owen says, when you play LUFC, John Victor plays Don't Snap It. He plays in gold as Victor. He plays in gold for them, so... I don't think... Um... Oh, it's a good ball. Oh, he's done well. Sweden. Looking leggy. The extra man's been told. Ukraine got a little boost. Karabayev, that's a good ball. Cut back. Oh. More injuries, more injuries. I swear, neither side are going to be able to put an 11 out. Big boots, but no big boobs, mate. <laughs> I've got big boobs. They're injured all over the shop, man. Oh. Oh, it's not intentional, is it? But he straight knees him to the face. I'm not sure Sweden or Ukraine are going to be able to put together an 11, man. Be, how many subs have they made now, Sweden? <laughs> Marcus, man, that's naughty, Marcus. I wish he was. <laughs> how many subs have they made here? Let's have a look. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Sweden have made six subs. One, two, three, four, five, 
six. Six. How come six? There's your man there, look. How... Six subs, though. Is that five and then, like, a concussion sub? Sweden be down again. Another man. So I assume he's been allowed back on. Yeah, referees waving him back on. Sinchenko. Sweden will just want this to go to penalties, but maybe Ukraine trying to put the foot on the pedal. Pedal to the metal. But Sweden just in there defending really, really well. That's not a foul, man. They get the ball. He slipped. Hi, Joe. Nothing to be scared of here. Me and my daughter were in Morley, Dashes, and it erupted when Skin Kane scored. Then we came home to watch Love Island. Give and take, mate. <laughs> I suppose if you've took her to the pub, mate, to watch her footy, you can watch a bit of Love Island, can't you? Yeah, it's Matt. Let's have a look. 31st of March, the UFA. This is a maximum of five substituting matches at the tournament. It was six allowed in extra time. There you go. They've made the six. It's going to fall. Zinchenko tried to cross it across goal. It would have been a dangerous cross as well had it have been the first man. Sweden defending so well. Come on, man. Four minutes left. Let's have a winner. At this stage, though, when you've got four minutes left, you just want it to go to penalties, don't you? It's gone out there to Zinchenko. Can he get a decent ball in this time? He can. Bang. Ah, it's gone wide. Just wide. What's happening on Love Island? You commentating on that next year? No, mate. I don't watch that tribe. I don't watch Love Island, mate. It's not my thing. People go mad for it, though. I think people are looking. Some people are more looking forward to that than the Euros. This is Ukrainian last substitution. Now there's their six. Bezos for Sjordarchuk. Got three minutes left of extra time. Oh, there's a chance. Sweden. It's going to drop to Forsberg. He is again picking it up. Great turn, Forsberg. Great ball. That's a good ball. Is your missus a fan of Love Island Joe? Nah, she don't watch that stuff, mate. My missus likes stuff like... Uh, SAS who dares wins. She likes true crime stuff like me. And she likes Benadorm. She watches Benadorm religiously. She watches Vera, The Bill. <laughs> she even watches The Bill. She watches old episodes of The Bill. She's like an old woman. She likes Vera and that. <laughs> but to be honest, she just watches Benadorm reruns on Netflix. She loves Benadorm. Harmony says her heart is pounding like mad. Come on, hang on, please. I know, Swedish hearts in mouths. There it is, cross. Crossed in. Zinchenko. Minute and a half, guys, left. Red Jollies. <laughs> What's happened there? Is it, what's he gone down like that for? Mm. 
No, it's his shoulder. Why why is he holding his shoulder? It's so hollow it's like nipped or something. What's happened here? I see going down. What's, let's have a look at that. Oh my god, the way he's gone down there, he's sorted head out. Yeah, Mark, that's why she liked me, Mitch. She said I look like Red Jollis. <laughs> He must have really hurt his shoulder there. I thought he'd been bitten or something. I thought Suarez had come on. <laughs> Give it the old vampire on the shoulder. <laughs> yeah, I think that's right. We're still tropical fish. What we'll have to do, they'll have to like make a joint team. <laughs> Look how he's running. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shoulder in bits. Diving, wanting a pen. Cheat, says Harmony. Ten seconds left, guys. <laughs> Flapping like a kipper. <laughs> Running like that. <laughs> it's fuming, in it? <laughs> I hunch back an Notre Dame. Three minutes, guys. Three minutes, then we're going to get some penalties. Unless we can get a moment of magic. Caravaggio carrying the ball. Three minutes, what the stoppage is it gonna be yes to midnight? I know it's half ten, Bremner's ghost. Malinowski works out here, Zinchenko, El Capitano ball in. There it is, it's winner! Ukraine have won it! Oh my god! What a ball for Zinchenko and Ukraine! Oh, Swedish heart's broken with three minutes left to go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying not. Look at Shevchenko, he's in tears. Oh, I'm good for them. Sorry, Harmony. What a ball from Zinchenko. He's onside as well. Oh, great header as well. Keeper, no chance. Also, no chance. That's it. Dobby. Dobby. Dobby from Harry Potter pops up. Oh, it's been checked. It's been checked. Mikhail from Norway. He loves it, look. No love lost between the Swedes and the Norwegians. It's been good. Has it been given? Dobby. Check over, goal. Goal stands, goal stands. Ukraine, eh? Wow. Dobek, beautiful cross, Mark Brown. You bang on the money, mate. What a cross from Zinchenko. Is that extra quality in it? Don't play at Manchester City for no reason. Playing in Champions League finals. <laughs> Rizdil, love how you checked your ear when, when it's getting checked. Did I? It's getting checked. We're getting a check. We, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sweden are out. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sweden are out. <laughs> Foul. It's a free kick. Got another injury here. That's 33. Just about on side. Oh, it's kicking off here. Shevchenko and the Swedish coach diving, he's saying. Oh, he's not happy, is he? It started so well, the game, but then it has really broke, on it? George Stable says he loves the videos. I love you for loving the videos, mate. Ukraine, just keep it up there. Don't even go for goal, man. Just keep it in corner. He's just showing f f off his new headphones. I am, exactly. And you guys got these headphones yesterday with the Super Chats, so thank you. It looks better, than it? Than having that, like, floating wire like that. 
Hi, welcome to Just Your Football Show with Floating Wire. And this looks better. Chance. Come on, Sweden. Take it to pet That's it. It's game over, isn't it? Game over. Sweden are out. Wow. Do you know what as well? My uh, my Swedish friend actually messaged me earlier on and said, um, good work, England. See you in the quarterfinal. Do you think it's too early to text her back and say, what? <laughs> See you when? There it is, guys. Sweden are out. England play Ukraine. It's the easier of the two ties. It's the easier of the two ties. Oh, man. Andrei Shevchenko's Ukraine through. There you go. Amazing. Amazing. Text away. Text away. Text away. Look, guys, thank you as always for watching. I've got to do some work now and put together um, tomorrow's daily leads. Have a look back, get you all the latest news. So that'll be with you at 6 a.m. in the morning, as is always the case. We'll have no watch alongs now for two days because, like I say, we've got two days off. So we'll be off Wednesday, Thursday, but we'll be back here Friday. Um, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, get your notification bell on so that you don't miss them streams. Um, sorry, Harmony, I, I really feel for you, my friend. Um, Harmony says now, come on, Calvin, do it for England. Um, obviously, we'll start on Friday. It'll be Switzerland versus Spain and then Belgium, Italy. And then, of course, Saturday, we're going to have Czech Republic versus Denmark. And then at 8 o'clock, it's going to be England versus Ukraine. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, get your comments in, all that jazz, and look out in the morning for the daily leads. Thank you, as always, for watching. I'm going to go get my head down now after I've done that work. Thanks for your support, as always. Peace out. Love yous.